Did you miss your audience? I think she did. Biz is the real streamer among us. Yeah. Aw, she's so talkative. Wow. Can you, can Francis you not is hear? here. Say, what? Sorry, I'm talking to the cat. Oh. Francis is here with an all caps HI! Emma is here and says, Hi, Biz. Oh, let me tweet that we're live. That's my job. Drew's Day. It's motherfucking Drew's Day. <laughs> Every time I tweet that it's Drew's Day, I consider tweeting Every it's motherfucking Drew's Day. That it's Drew's Day. <laughs> um, because that's just what happens in my head, but then I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if, like, I know we swear, but, like, it just feels... It feels like a step too far in our tweets for some reason. Okay, so I have currently typed out but not yet tweeted, it's motherfucking Drew's Day and we're live. <laughs> should I not tweet that? No, you sh you probably should. I just needed, like, confirmation from another person. Yeah. Let's go! Um, I am drinking a root beer float. Oh, not a fan? No, I mean, I'm happy for you, or whatever. Francis says, I am offended and will be leaving because oh, of our swearing. Taking, Francis is taking I, the business elsewhere. They said, I didn't sign up for cuss tweets. <laughs> I, oh, no. We truly, truly internet fame has changed us, huh? Mm-hmm. Um, I have a food question for everyone. Mm-hmm. Imagine that you have a nice slice of raisin toast. Okay. Is this about spinning the toast and seeing how many pieces of toast you can maintain perfectly spinning in your mind palace? No. Okay. Um, this is about what you would put on raisin toast as a topping. Nothing. I will not eat that shit. Okay. Well, but I assume like butter and maybe cinnamon and sugar. Uh-huh. Would you put avocado on it? Absolutely not. Fuck off. Would you put a nice mild cheese on it? Um, if I was going to eat the raisin toast in the first place, I, I guess. Because, yeah, actually, that, that yeah, I'm picturing, like, the cheese and fruit angle could yeah. work there. Like, cheese with a nice, like, fig spread. I can see it. Yeah. Okay, so I, I do both of those things, although not at the same time. I eat... I'm, I'm upset by the avocado one, Joey. Uh, yeah, I... But look, don't knock it till you try it. Like, it's... it. So here's the thing. I have raisin bread and I have cinnamon raisin bread. They're two different breads. Why and... do you have two different kinds of bread with fucking raisin in it? Uh... Why, why, why are you living like this? <laughs> because... God... Um, I mean, the you real feel thing like you understand someone and their shortcomings <laughs> when you know them deeply for several years. And Look, here's the thing: true. I don't like raisins, except that I do like raisin toast. Okay. On, okay. On the plain raisin toast, I will put butter and then avocado and then salt. That's... I would I would also put cheese on that toast like instead but but I would not but I put cheese on cinnamon raisin toast and I would not put avocado on cinnamon raisin toast. Avocado only goes on plain raisin <laughs> toast. But cheese can go on either. I got to say I really don't I really don't get your standard here but I guess I'm glad that you <laughs> do. <laughs> Uh, I look. My mom introduced me to the avocado on raisin toast thing, and I thought it would be weird too. And then I tasted it, and it was delicious. Yeah. 
It's also, I, it's, so imagine energy brown rice bread, but raisin toast. Is that that brown, is that yeah. that rice bread that you get? Yeah, 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 yeah. The perfect square? Yeah. Um, and then put avocado on that. Yeah, that would be, that would be fine, I guess. Here's the thing. I'm already honestly a little iffy about avocados and definitely iffy about raisins and so this just feels like a really unholy union yeah for me it's one of those things where like it it makes they're they're better i mean i do like avocado generally although i understand your iffiness but like if it's a good avocado it just makes the avocado better and it makes the raisin toast better I mean, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts, you know? Making raisin toast better is a, a, the simple act of adding literally anything that isn't fucking raisins to toast. <laughs> um, and then the cheese on raisin toast thing I just tried the other day because it seemed appropriate to me. And then Francis looked at me like I was... I could see you putting, like, cream cheese. A heretic. Or a ricotta on a... On a cinnamon. No, I was putting like red wax, red wax chowda, or like butter kaza. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I feel fine about that. Like, like I feel better. I feel. I, I feel way more enthusiastic about that than I do about form, so. avocado on the raisin toast. Yeah. The other thing is that, like, although I had not put cheese on cinnamon raisin toast before, I did grow up eating cheese or ham on raisin buns um okay because it's a dutch thing <laughs> hmm. um like you just have a you just have a raisin bun which is i don't i don't even you know i don't Francis even know says... where i would buy them except at a dutch bakery and you slice them, and on half of them you put ham, and on half of them you put cheese, and then you eat, you know, like two of them at least for lunch. I did feel like I was channeling you at the farmer's market, getting f fresh homemade ricotta from the Dutch Girl Creamery cheese stand. Yeah. Francis says... Excuse me, my look was baffled and not offended. And then everyone else has big emotions about your cheese, yeah. raisin, avocado yeah. um, connection. Look, I'm just saying that I think you should try it. I understand why it sounds bizarre to people, but I think you should try it. Nat says, every time Barry Cat gets into cheeses, I'm like, there's so many names for cheeses I've never heard in my life. Well, it doesn't help that I pronounce things pretentiously, probably. Ugh. Um, in good food opinions, mm -hmm. I'm having a little, I'm having a little clinky clink. Mmm. Which is a lemon Italian soda with some homemade lavender simple syrup and gin. Wow. Um, I am turning 30 in a month. Wow. In two days less than a month, actually. And uh, I think my siblings are going to develop a signature cocktail for my birthday party. Um, but Ooh. if anyone has uh, suggestions... I welcome them. Hmm. Also, like, food suggestions, which are going to be, like, you know, fancy appetizer -y sorts of things. Also, Ruby, you're invited. Put June 4th on your calendar. Please pencil that in. <laughs> <laughs> I've been meaning to message you, and I kept forgetting today because I was busy at work, so. Congrats to Ruby on finishing school and heading home for the summer. What a wonderful state of affairs. Yeah. Um. Wow, wow. turning 30. Yeah. It's 
I can't quite believe it, but it's happening. It's happening one way or the other. Yep. Um, oh, okay. I have a poll for the the chat, which is that I have to start a new page of detective notes. Um, and I'm wondering what color they should be uh, as I yes. outline the pages um, in Mildliners. Unfortunately, I'm a fool and had already used green for Phantom of Venice for some fucking reason. So and it now, cannot be green. Right, which is frustrating because this the game Ireland takes game. place in Ireland and the only color in Ireland is green. That's true. That's very true. So I also, thinking... if you can hear annoying background noise, it's probably my neighbor very kindly mowing everyone's yard. Um, it's American imperialism in the form of the fucking traditional lawn. Yes, but also mutual Which aid. Which is a sham. Because my neighbor mows my yard for free. <laughs> sometimes, can I be honest, sometimes it's both. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Graham says you could absolutely make a dewless cocktail that tastes like dew. Oh, and uh, Francis says, can you make a yeah. cocktail that tastes like Mountain Dew but contains no Mountain Dew? Ah. Yeah, that's like after that's tea. after Ruby said that obviously my signature cocktail has to contain Mountain Dew. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I think it must. That or like pickle juice. Yeah. Oh wow, Sammy is here for the start of a new game. Hi, Sammy. Um, Welcome. Speaking of pickle juice, remember I talked about those Clausen pickles a while back? Mm hmm And you said you liked their dill pickles better than other dill pickles because they were, like, more vinegary or dilly or something? Yeah. Um, that's false. I've had multiple other people <sighs> eat them now and <laughs> Hey, do you remember you. this <laughs> thing that you said in the past? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't disagree that you like them better. I just don't think it is because they are more dilly or more vinegary. What I was able to finally identify, um, I think thanks to Francis actually, is that they are saltier. The, the oh, brine explain it. Is, is like salt brine rather than just vinegar brine. So, oh! Oh, so are they technically, are they like a half sour pickle then? Because it's a vinegar brine and a salt brine? I don't know. I mean, they're cold, you know, they're like, they're co they're cold fermented. They're, you know. They're... There's, there's lacto fermentation and there's. Right. Salt fermentation. Mm, nope. Never mind. We can't. It's, we can't do this. No, it's much more complicated than that. Um, But, and actually, I think a lot of pickles that are made with primarily vinegar are not technically fermented. They're pickled, but not fermented. But if they're lacto-fermented, they are fermented. Right, but there's a difference between, there's a different, what I was trying to get at is there's a difference between pickles, which are pickled in vinegar, and pickles, yes. which are pickled in a salt brine. Yes, and I suspect, yeah, that And salt they... brine pickles are usually called half sour oh okay yeah i'm not familiar okay. with the half sour terminology but they do like they fucking taste practically like ocean water good stuff um emma says my parents neighbors used to mow our lawn as a form as a as a form of aggression for sure because we did not do enough lawn care for them uh that's not the case here thankfully um but yeah Ruby says, not Mountain Dew, but hill moisture? Hmm. Yes, the moisture upon the hill. The dew upon the mountain. I love that Rodgers and Hammerstein musical. The rain upon the... Uh-huh. Mm. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> yep. What's another word? Literally any word. <laughs> the rain upon the raised ground. Mm. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, you asked a question about color, and yes, Matt what said color? orange, and nobody else responded. No. Oh, <laughs> Matt. <laughs> um, I don't want to veto the only return, <laughs> but... I voted Matt. for blue pre-stream because... One, there's a wedding involved in this game, and you know the like the wedding dress that's or the wedding rhyme that's like something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue, and uh -huh. also there's a banshee, and blue and banshee are alliterative. I maintain that's a bit of a stretch. Yeah, anything is gonna be a stretch here, because the only color legally allowed in Ireland is green. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, some other people agree that it has to be orange, including Emma, but Ruby it. says pink and Francis says chartreuse. Matt says what's wrong with orange. What is wrong with orange? There's nothing wrong with orange. I was just hoping for the thematic tie-in, you know? Yeah. Also, I don't have... I'm working with mild liners, none of which are, like, very orangey. But if the people demand orange. Wait, I'm going to go look at the game screen caps. You're going to do a little eyedropper for me? Pick out a nice highlight color? There is a lot of blue in the first two of these, including the creepy automaton game. It's wearing blue. Oh, fuck. Bingo. Yeah. Um, I, Same bingo cards. I wasn't going to. Guess what? Everyone's fucking living in bingo pur purgatory. I meant to print out a new one for myself, and then I forgot. So you get to keep track of it digitally or something. Great. Okay. Um, okay, for blues, I have... Uh, one is, like, very blue. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> one is a different blue what is lighter one is um also bluish but also kind of purplish um and the other one is like a very light teal so there's blue ass blue light blue purpley blue and teal I'm inclined to go blue ass blue but I'm curious about what other people think. <laughs> Emily says, what color should I pick? Orange? Too bad. I don't have that one. Mm. <laughs> Emma says the teal for green inclusion. That is my <laughs> second choice. Ruby says ass blue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well. Francis says print? You print them? Physical media? Yeah, I own a printer. I own a color printer. Who are you? Fucking laser Ted over here. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's not apparently showing up right now. Oh, because the internet went out in the middle of the night for a while. And if it gets disconnected from the internet, I have to press a button to reconnect it. Hmm. Speaking of laser Ted, did I tell you, I can't remember at what point this happened because my conception of time, which was always fragile, has just been completely shattered. Um, but that fucking video of Riff Raff that they specifically talk about when they mm -hmm. mention laser Ted was on my TL and I showed it to my mom and she was the most upset with me about like anything I've ever shown her. She was like, why did you show me this? Who is this? I hate this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wow. Um, I have a question. What did yeah. we last time we replaced one of these squares with Kachunk? What square <laughs> was it? Um, you know. Um, the um maybe we could pick a new one to replace with Kachunk. Maybe the Hardy Boys butt in. 
Oh, I think we did that last time because... But the Hardy Boys were actually in the last yeah, one. Yeah, no, we kept that one last time. Okay, let's see. Um... I don't... What did we replace it with? Because I feel like we talked about a bunch of these. Cursed Pet, Fraudulent Identity, Unpaid Labor, Terrible um, Automaton for sure, Bitter Exes. Can't get rid of that. That's the heart of Nancy Drew. I don't know, but I think we should get rid of Hardy Boys. Yeah? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. I just... That's... That's my that's my gut instinct here. Okay, we'll definitely remember that. <laughs> I'm staring straight at the camera. <sighs> I'm going to download this particular Emily thing. says fraudulent identity, I think. Okay. Well, that one stays this time and the Hardy Boys gets replaced with Kachuk. Rose says toss the boys. Francis says fuck off boys. Rose <laughs> says put them in the trash can. <laughs> boy boy be gone. Boys be gone. My favorite my my favorite nineties band, Boys Be Gone. <laughs> okay, okay, I do just... have a fresh Shadow Ranch saved and ready to consult since I am now the bingo master. I mean, you don't have to be, but at least for now, probably you should be. Okay. I'm making an executive decision. Uh-huh. Which is that I'm going to do ass blue for Ireland. <laughs> Great. Love it. I think last game might win an award for the least amount of detective notes I've taken. Yeah. It was very note light. It was notes light. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Let's Haunting of play Castle Malloy. The dang game. Oh, does everything does everything sound okay, everyone? Well, let's ask them that again when they can hear game sound. Okay, I'm going to stream it to Caitlin. I'm gonna oh, you remembered to include me. Thank you. Turn off the title screen. Everyone can now see the horrible mask. Um, oh, and I'm going to go to Twitch. Oh, yeah, that is real loud. There we go. Turn that down. It's a loud game. Yeah. Um, okay, here, I'm even gonna, <laughs> we have different, uh, noises here, so you're gonna, you're gonna hear them. I wonder if these ones are in a wet cave. They're like not. Time. They're not. Excuse me, giant human person, but you seem to be pretty nosy, especially for someone who hardly even has a nose. I mean, compared to mine. <laughs> scripted or I to Lonnie know. Manella where they just like give us anything <laughs> I'm just gonna do a quick level check uh just give us you know just give us a little something anyways who how how is that volume for you That's, all that sounds okay to me okay um excuse me giant and human then person here oh that's that's great. I love that. Yeah. Oh, that good old Nancy mini music. Yeah. Okay. Good? Yeah, I think so. Um. As just a quick, a quick review. The last game we played was The Phantom of Venice. Really beautiful screenshot of our host there. 
Yep. Scopa. Um, Scopa. It's a test right. Why the fuck did we keep Colin's note? I don't know. Nancy, get rid of that. It's horrible. Um, okay, let's look at the case file. When Kyler Mallory called me from her home oh. in London and asked me to be her maid of honor, I was a little Is reluctant. Is that Kyler After Mallory? All, I hadn't seen her since she stayed with us as an exchange student a couple of years ago. But when she told me the wedding was going to take place at an old family castle in Ireland, <laughs> how could I say no? The wedding will be very small, but Kyler still needs help with all the final preparations, which means she'd like me to arrive several days early. So I'm going to fly to Dublin, rent a car, and meet Kyler at the Malloy. She warned me that the place is somewhat in need of repairs, whatever that means. And means unfortunately, unpaid by the labor. time I get there, it'll be nice. It does but absolutely mean Ireland unpaid before, labor. And I've never even seen a real honest to goodness castle, let alone stayed in one. So the fact that it may be dark and run down just makes it more of an adventure. Mm -hmm. And you know me, whenever the question is who wants to go on an adventure, my answer is always, I do. Your answer is always, I am compelled to. <laughs> Please, let me rest. Return me to the darkness. Yeah. Uh, Nat says, Nancy, I don't care for this bitch, but I do love to travel. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's that's the deal. That's what we're doing. Um, I think that Nancy volume seems a little quiet compared to effects noise. Uh, like her voice. Yes. Excuse yeah. me, giant human. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay. Let's go. Ooh. Oh. Kyler boy. Tegan Mallory of London and Matthew William Simmons of London request your presence to witness their exchange of matrimonial vows on the 1st of June at 1 o'clock. Location is Castle Malloy, Baylor, Ireland. She looks like a sim. She looks like a vampire sim, and he looks like a zombie slash Frankenstein's monster. Do you think this is who turned Nancy? No, because she already... Oh, I mean, maybe. Like I mean, not in this game, but, you... like, previous. Right, right, no, yeah. but the excuse for, like, how do you know each other, like, the cover story for their current mortal lives is, like, ah... Uh, Exchange. Um, Kyler was our, was my, ex oh, something was exchanged, all right, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that does give more of an explanation for why she would want Nancy to be a maid of honor in her wedding, um, mm -hmm. rather than just like, oh, she was my host sister or whatever. Um, right. Also, I just gotta say, like, presumably she and nancy are close to the same age but this woman looks fucking like 40 years old she really does um francis says i am loving kyler's face i wish to see it in movement emily says she does look like a sim yeah Ooh, leprechaun telephone oh service <gasps> Woof. okay are you ready yeah Junior, Junior. Preparation. A little Canada cameo for our Canadian viewers. So your plane was on time, your luggage arrived, your rental car oh, was waiting. Who is Everybody driving? Yep, and according to Kyla's direction, who's driving? Nancy is, but her hands are invisible? about me and get over to the Dunhill. What time is it there? Around two. The party just started. It's gonna go all day, so I've got plenty of time. Are you driving? Uh yes, Ned, I'm talking on my cell phone while I'm driving, but it's okay. There's absolutely no traffic. And I think I see the gates. I gotta go. Say hi to the Dunhills for me and have fun. Without you? Yeah, right. Take care, Nancy. Yo, if- <laughs> Oh! Hey, I think that was a ghost slash hey, I think that phantom. Was a... <gasps> Top down? Top down? Uh, uh, this... Nancy looks very blonde. Yeah, strawberry blonde, maybe. 
spooky. Is this gonna be spooky? What do we do now? Oh. Oh, God. Oh, I... no. What? <laughs> this is... This is the... This is the snowmobile chase. That is the only other time I think we've controlled Nancy like this. Yeah, but we haven't seen her like this. I don't um, want to see her like this. It's bad. Can, before we go inside, can we poke around the road a little? No. The answer is no. No. <laughs> uh. Oh, the screaming banshee. Convenient. We should wait and come back to this, right? Like we. Yeah. Should... Do you want to go to the house first? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nancy, let go of the sign. This is wild. The way she walks it's is bad so. To look at. Oh, she's so like weirdly hunched too. And her arms are out to the sides, like she is. She like is she's doing, a little like, it's like raptor. It's it's like hereditary. Like she is. Her feet are only kind of touching the ground. Uh, Ruby says scunch huddle. Yeah. Hunch scuttle. Matt says I love scunch her. Huddle. Yeah, scunch huddle. Matt says I love her holding shift to crouch as she walks. Oh, look at this dramatic. What are we looking through? I... Why are these? <laughs> oh my god. What is happening here? <laughs> I hate how fast she moves. I really hate it. It's so fast. <sighs> this is terrifying. <laughs> she just <laughs> glides. Truly, she does not inhabit the same mortal Ooh. plane as we do. Oh, that one is broken. <gasps> Look at that hand! Oh, I, uh, um, hello. I'm Ew, the house I'm here for the wedding. The wedding's been called off. Oh. So go and vouch for where you come from. No, wait, please. My car's in the ditch by the gate. I can't go anywhere. Walk down the road to the inn, then. Give me your keys, and I'll see to your car in the morning. I left the keys in the car. Can I at least talk to Kyla? She's sleeping. No, wait. I came all the way from the States. You cannot stay here. Go to the inn, I say. Now off with you. Please, can I come in just for a minute? Hello? Are you there? incredible start um okay one you all can cross off ghost slash phantom and lovingly rendered hand yeah that was does does nancy's do, do we get to cross off scuttling as well no because it's specifically tunnel scuttling that mm, does not okay. count. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna look up at this window. Keep an eye out. Okay. There's somebody up there. I bet it's Kyla. Oh, are we gonna throw something at the window? Maybe. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, look at those rocks! Oh, I want them. I want them all. Uh, okay. I can't <laughs> tell what's happening here. Where are those rocks going? I... I don't know. It's like they bounce above the window and then fall through the window. That one Can you try clicking up there and a like wildly different part of the screen and see if it has an effect? Yes. Oh, okay. It does. Okay, I do think I just need to aim lower. Let's okay. pick up some more. We'll see. Do a big guy. Okay, I just want to get a little more. Yeah, okay. 
So yeah, that it does look like it's going high. Oh, yeah, that one looks that better. One, yeah. Oh, that looked really good. I might just need to pick a more big one. Ooh. It, it's it's veering to the left a little, so you might want to go a little. Yeah. There, that one looked perfect. <laughs> Are we fucking sending her a message in Morse code? How many rocks do we have to do? to your American friend showing up and pitching a rock through your window. Do, do I knock again? Yeah, do it. Death, are you now? I told you, you cannot be staying here. You know, what are you doing? That man is you, my maid of honor. Look for him. The maid of honor? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Max disappeared? How can somebody you came all the way out here with to marry just disappear? He hasn't disappeared for good. You have to understand, Matt's a bit of a prankster, and the wedding is still days away. Yeah. If you think your groom disappeared you know, as a prank, you should not be marrying him. Am I the asshole? Um, it does... Does her, like, not great British accent count as an inexplicable NPC accent? No, because it's contextually relevant. Yeah, okay. That's I fair. love the texture of her sweater. It it's, looks great. Yeah. I want to top it. I, I would argue that is the most comfortable and appealing looking garment we've seen in Nancy Drew. I Drew. think so. It looks... Like, it is thick in a way that most clothing in Nancy Drew games does not look thick, you know? Yeah, but also, like, clothing-shaped. Like, there's a yeah. person in Yeah. Also, unfortunately, um, I think it's the green and the shape of her face and the way her hair is pulled back, but I am getting Fiona from Shrek vibes. Mmm. Yeah, I see it. Although she has a much longer face and longer nose. Mm -hmm. That says just a prank, bro. Leaves my fiance at the altar. <laughs> he disappeared as a prank? He adores getting people in a tizzy. I do think he's pushing the envelope this time, but he'll Buddy. show up. Mind you, it may not be till I've started down the aisle, but he'll show, saying he just wanted to make this a wedding no one shall ever forget. That's also grim. It is grim. Her hands are shockingly proportional to the rest of her. Yeah, it's bizarre. Watch the next time she gestures. Why did that man at the door tell me the wedding was off? That was the caretaker, <clears throat> Donald Delaney. Not Donald, mind you. There's no D at the end, so it's pronounced Donal. That's the way you're supposed to spell it, which is to say that's the way the Irish spell it. Proud of his heritage, huh? Indeed. You're Which being so his love for the Irish weird about a man just having a name? For the British. Now, he yeah, weird. Soldier. I wonder where that comes That's from. Because he considers me to be Irish, since I'm directly related to the man who used to own this place. When it comes to my British fiancé, Donald detests him. Which is why he was so quick to tell you the wedding's off. He wants it to be off. He came right out and said, if I am to be married in Castle Malloy, it simply must be to an Irishman. Said my marrying a Brit would upset the fairy people or whatever he calls them up there. Oh shit. There he is. Actually, I will be thrilled if this game is about like helping her dump her fucking like Reddit prankster of a fiance and like be engaged to the fucking unseely court. That would be amazing. Um, which of these should I say? I think the second. Do you have any idea where Matt disappeared to? No, but I know he didn't go far. The fact is, sometimes I hear him. You know, his voice. It's very faint and muffled, but it sounds like he's calling to me, saying things I can't quite make out, teasing me the lout. So I know he's somewhere close by. He'll be here for the wedding. I'd stake my life on it. Of course, I remember well your penchant for solving mysteries, so if you want to give this one a go, by all means do. Who could start in the nursery? 
It's down the hall. That's where Matt had set up his cot and was spending most of his time. Find him, Nancy. Having my maid of honor ruin this silly vanishing trick of his would teach him a lesson he sorely needs. Oh boy. Um, should I say this second thing? Yeah. Someone ran out in front of my car on my way here and caused me to drive into a ditch. Are you all right? Me, I'm fine. My car and my cell phone, uh, not so good. Um, no follow-up questions. Can we just go and we can come back and talk to her later? Sure. I'm gonna go because I want to explore. Now. You know. Yeah. Months, Francis says it looks like a chenille sweater, which it kind of does, but I like fault. it. That was a very happy time for me, Nancy. I can't tell you how thrilled I am you're here. I get to see you again, and I get to see Ireland. <laughs> I'm the one who's thrilled. Believe me. Let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. I'm your maid of honor, remember? I'm your ex-girlfriend, remember? Oh God. I mean, that was some real affection that they just, you know. Mhm. Mm okay. Wow. Look at this room. Look at all this stuff. So can we look at the telescope? I'll try in a minute. The Zodiac Constellations. Oh, we just took that. Oh, wow. That's ours now. Okay. Okay. <gasps> oh, that's okay. What a dramatic love silhouette. This, love that. Yeah, this view. Fantastic. Uh, are those just some giant chains hanging in the corner? Yeah, you know. Hmm. I look at this little arch on the bottom. So I'm looking at this. That's a friend. <gasps> yes, yes, yes! <sighs> I don't know how there's this so many works. holes in this board i'm just i know they don't like go here long term i'm just sorting what do these holes mean what do oh oh are those constellations no uh, no i don't think so, don't so think this so. says one Two, two, six, eleven. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then this says ten and ten over here. Oh, there are ten of each size, I think. Oh, I see. Okay. Um. I don't know if we have what we need. To... Yeah, well, let's not let's not get bogged down in trying to like solve a puzzle without any context, and let's keep poking around. Oh, okay, but I just oh, okay, never mind. I just want to solve a puzzle. I know. Look at this cool little like. Oh yeah, book. little book, book cubby. Okay. Ooh. Look oh. Look at this friend. Hello. Uh, okay, that looks like it goes to a doorway, so we're going to come back to that. Yeah. That's the other doorway. Okay. That's a, a fireplace. Oh, okay. I think. Ooh. Ooh. What? I want to touch all of these. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna be able to solve this right now either. But that's okay. We're just getting acquainted. They're so nice. What, um, I want to put these yeah. in wait order, but not right now. Okay. Oh. oh. Can we not make this any bigger? No, it's just going to be tiny. really difficult to read. Okay, it says... Convert binary into a letter by locating the eight-digit binary's numerical value on the chart. Binary is written by finding the combination of column values that, when added together, equal the numerical value. Each one or zero represents a single column, writing one if the value is used and zero if the value is not used. In eight-digit binary, columns represent the following values. 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. Okay. For example, to convert 01101010, you do some math. It's love to be math. goes under 128, so it means we don't it's not use used. that one. Right. Okay. And then use, use, 64 use, plus yeah, 32 yeah, yeah, yeah. plus 8 plus 2. Is I gotta tell you, thrilled about this opportunity to do what sounds like quite a lot of mental math. Use the chart to locate the letter with a value of 106 and find that 01101010 is binary for J. Oh, right, because so that's we got 106 and then we look at this chart, 106 corresponds yeah. to J. Yeah, that makes, that makes total sense. Yes. Nat says, our friend is like, find my missing fiancé. And we're like, one second, have you seen all the cool puzzles in this room? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. here we go. Wow. Um, That's a little treat for us. Yeah. I bet one of the on in the chat math whizzes could look at this and tell us what to put on each of the three things to make them <laughs> even out. But I don't think we have all of these yet. Oh yeah, we're we short too, so we have them. to go find Presumably. two more. That's thrilling. I am so Oh, we really sad can't we look can't... at him any closer, no. huh? Just that, okay. Oh, wow. That's lovely. I want to sit there. Yeah. Let Nancy sit. Let Nancy sit and enjoy the fire. She's already had a rough night and she just fucking got here. I am going to screen cap this. Um, okay. Did we look at those bookcases on the right? I just realized what is this, this? Looks like a fun little what you probably shouldn't put a large disc on okay nancy you're so annoying oh i just made things light up but i don't know what the what's the goal here you know no idea. Is it just to get the full stack to the other side? I don't know. I think it might be. This is a lovely little sound effect. Fucked up. I think I fucked up. Mm hmm. Hmm. Hugs. 
go. Oh, there you go. No, not quite though. But how do we? Because I need to get that last one over. Uh, um. <laughs> Emma says this is such a comp sci one hundred and one heavy game already. Good thing that's a thing Joey and I both have definitely done. Yeah. Francis says to you, you got this. Mm -hmm. Nancy, can I suggest to you an option, which is to simply take them off and set them on the floor? Tim is here. Tim says, how is the new Drew? Uh, a lot has happened. We're in Ireland. We got startled off the road by what was definitely a ghost or a banshee. We're here for a friend's wedding. Said friend's fiance has disappeared. Ho ho. Oh, Joe, here we are. But it's fine because he's a prankster. You gotta move the little one. Oh my God. This is it. This is it. Ho ho. Oh, sick. We got a lantern. It this will come in handy. <laughs> I did all <laughs> of that to fucking turn a lantern on. Yeah, you know. <laughs> we did it. We solved a puzzle. Do you feel whole again? I do. That was so good. You did a great job. Thank you. Okay, through the door. Whoa, <gasps> that would have been quite a fall. <laughs> That's just... Hey, 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 what the fuck is up with your castle? I hmm. love her staring out to, like... <laughs> With her back to you, gazing upon the window and not saying a word about the death trap door. Yeah, like, hey, maybe watch out for that door. What the fuck is her name again? No Kyler? idea. Kyler, yes. Ky Kyler okay. Mallory, Mallory something. Nancy, splendid timing. I just thought of something <clears throat> you can do for me. There's an old-fashioned <clears throat> printing press downstairs. Have you seen it? No, I haven't taken a good look around down there yet. Just go down the stairs and look for the monstrosity with the big wheel and the levers. You can't miss it. It came with the castle. My great uncle, Grandpapa's brother, was some sort of mad inventor. Had all sorts of gizmos and gadgets and machinery lying around. I would love to explore anyway, a mad inventor's house. When I saw the printer, I told Nan why not save some money and print the programs for the wedding right here. The problem is, Matt failed to get them done before he turned into the merry prankster. And since I have the mechanical aptitude of a bacterium, <laughs> would you Good mind one. finishing the job for me? You'd only have to print three more sheets. And the plate, the ink, the paper, everything you need is right there. No problem. Thank you, Nancy. You're the best. Hmm. hmm. Okay. Oh no, Emily says, Emily Kyler says Kyler Rind. Rind. <laughs> yeah. Um, Emma says, Emily, I got halfway through typing that and decided not to. Thank you. I hope you're all ready for me to get horribly lost in this castle. Hell yeah. This is like the first Nancy Drew game that we streamed all over again. Yeah. Okay, count. So. Hold on. I'm going to keep a, a suit of armor counter. I think that's mm. two. There are two in this hall and we already saw one. Okay, so three. Yeah, so that's the door we just came in. Okay. Do we want to go up this staircase across the hall, or do we want to turn left into through that door? Let's turn left. I don't want to go downstairs yet. Well, I think that takes But I want to see this other room. Upstairs, okay, then let's go upstairs. We'll, we'll see. Oh! No! Oh my god, that <gasps> fucking window! Oh my god! What are you- 
so this is the nursery where the guy was <laughs> sleeping. Kyler, you are not engaged to a human man. Do you think? Okay. Okay. Oh, can on, we pick up on that gym, cot. Please? That's that's where he was sleeping. Great. I want that gym. <gasps> oh. oh, I want to eat it. Look at that. Oh, wow. Uh, everyone is very excited about the friend bird. Okay, so there are four gems in here. And then oh. the orange one, five. That so there are so we're gonna three find more. missing. Nat says, Kyler Wren is a great mnemonic for uh, me to remember her name, actually. Everyone is chanting bird and friend. Oh, look at this says, rainbow oh, up here. Beautiful. These are the gay gems. The gay, the gay power crystals. Yeah. Can um, we... Rose says, yeah, he's a fairy folk. Perhaps even the bird. Francis oh. says, I wish to sleep in this cursed room. Hey, why can says, we yeah. stare at this dead fireplace up close? That's definitely a doorway. I want to... Oh! Oh, no! <gasps> oh, no! Does this say evil? Evil returns to the evil doer? <laughs> hey, why was Matt staying in this room? Sorry, she was like, prankster. just find a room that seems comfy to you. And he took one look at this one and he was like, yep. Right at home. This is the one. Hey, look, a horse. Should we name it? Yeah, what should we name it? This is Hammaker, the horse. Ah, perfect. Hammaker Schwemmer. Hammaker. <gasps> Hamm oh, that's Ireland money. It is Ireland money. We're going to spend it at the pub, I bet. Francis says, why did my fiancé disappear? You made him sleep in here. Um, hey, this is a mini castle. Oh, my God. Oh. Uh... What is happening here? <laughs> what the fuck? So we have to correctly place everything? A Apparently, pig minus. No, it's not minus. Look down here. Directly next to, yeah. Blue is to the side of. Red is directly next to. Vertical blue is above. Vertical red is directly above. What the and then fuck above is in any direction and to the side of on any. Hey, the floor. vibes at Castle Malloy are. That oh my god, Joey, that was actually Ireland money. Look, we have money now. Yeah, I was serious. When I said, yeah, that is Ireland money. <laughs> okay, but also uh, we're missing some of the figurines, right? Like we don't have a horse yet. The rocking horse, right. If the horse goes where the horse goes here, like where the horse is, that means the pig goes in bed because the pig goes directly, directly next, to, next the to the horse oh and then we know the cow goes directly, directly above, above the, pig. the pig and then i think that's all we have with cow and pig yeah although we have the bear I is bet... to the side of the horse but that could be anything on that row the bear uh dog bear that's a bear this cat? i think that's a cat the creature. Um, does that the guy the guy needs to be over one because there needs to be a suit of armor between There's a dot right here. There will be a s we'll put a suit of armor here to go between okay. him and her. I mean Oh like... oh because because we have a suit of armor figurine over here. I, I I mean, I am assuming that we will get a couple more to fill this in. Yeah. Okay, let's check it just for shits and giggles. I don't think we're going to get anything yet. But... No, I think yeah. it has to be okay. all the way. Anyways, that is... Oh! Oh, no, those are... 
Those are the ones. Oh my god, and it but took them they all don't, Yeah, they down. don't stay. Okay. Um, Tim says, make those dolls. Nat says this game is really starting strong. Truth speaks even though the tongue were dead. <laughs> what a lovely little Air- Airbnb here. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Teeth! Hold on. Oh, shit. Remember we were going to add teeth to the bingo and never did. Ah, shit. Well, okay. Instead of replacing the thing with kachunk, it's replaced with teeth. What? And we replaced Hardy Boys? Yes. No Hardy Boys. Instead, teeth. You can check it off. No Hardy Boys. Instead, comma, teeth. Le Lapin Bleu. Lapin is rabbit. Rabbit. Interesting. Can you take a screen cap of this or a picture or whatever? Not a screen yeah. cap. I did take a screen cap of it. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, Can we? I. What? Oh, um, hey, is that a vampire resistant mirror? Unclear if Nancy is actually like I don't at an know. Angle, we can see, but I think so. I'm counting it because it's okay. a mirror yeah. where we can actually. I mean, it, this see game the room. is bizarre so far because in the past we have seen Nancy's hand at times, like wearing a glove, you know, in Shadow Ranch. Right. This time, there were no hands on the steering wheel, no hand on the door knocker, but we saw her whole entire being. Fucking horrible form. Like. Scuttling. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it was terrible. Nat says, what is with her interactive in teeth? Um, great question. What is with this? Uh, you know, see not what you see and hear not what you hear. Oh, oh look at that boy. doll! Oh. Can, we take, can you take a screenshot of this, please? <laughs> uh, Francis says her whole hunched ass. Yeah. Um, this feels so far like it looked at that horrible um, fucking dummy from um, the game in New Orleans and was like, I hear you would like more of this. A silent mouth is sweet to hear. Real creepy shit. What was that sound? <gasps> Otter friends! Left to move me up and down, right to circle, round and round. I'm guessing those are clicks. Yeah. Right to rotate, left to move. Um, and Look presumably at these fucking friends. we have to match... These. Yeah, let's not let's not do this puzzle. Okay. I, I don't think we have time to do it today, but let's finish okay. poking around the room. Okay. Great. Um, I want to get gents, up gay close gents. to that. But that we can't. Honestly, that looking at with that like fucking Pinterest night sky is a beautiful. Moi. Yeah. Okay. Ruby says haunting of Bly Manor wanted what this game has. Yeah. Um, there are. Oh. Wait. Are you? Did you see the designs on the back of the doors too? Are those aesthetic or puzzly? Do you think? Uh, I think aesthetic, but I'm not sure. Oh, okay. So that goes. So we're not going down. Downstairs. Yet. This goes upstairs oh 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 i can't quite get there from here damn seriously what the fuck is up with your castle <laughs> francis okay. says i have such a desire to cross stitch right now i think yeah um oh uh, Francis said, sorry, what was that sign on the shelf? It said, um, a quiet mouth is sweet is to sweet hear. sweet to hear. 
as in children should be seen and not heard, but even creepier than that already is. Yeah. And that says, dude, your castle's vibes are rancid. <laughs> wow, here we are in the main hall. Oh, look at it. Oh my god. That's a big fire. Oh, hold on. Suit of armor counter. Also, is this just open to open. the outside? No, it's fine. Look, that one tapestry is doing a lot of work there, okay? Ah. Oh. Oh, there's two. two. One, two. Check. Mmm, this is nice. Oh. Oh. He looks like a totally different man in this picture. What emotion she... is she experiencing I here? I don't know. Her face <laughs> confuses me so much. She's also, got she like apparently Ratatouille. Only... She... She oh. has the man from Ratatouille yes. proportions. Mm -hmm. She apparently only wears this sweater in different colors. I respect that. Francis says she 100% looks like a sim. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Who? I'm sorry, who is? Is that, is that the Mary Praester? Who the fuck are you? Excuse Hi. me, you sir? Must be Nancy oh. Bruce. I'm Kit Foley, Matt's best friend. Ignore the eye if you can. Walked into a door the other day. Looked worse yeah? than true. I don't believe that. I'm a bit surprised you're still here, given the circumstances. I was going to say the same about you. I'm not about to leave Kyler here by herself. Until she comes to her senses, I'm staying put. What do you mean, comes to her senses? Matt isn't playing a practical joke, and he hasn't been kidnapped by fairies like Denal claims. He got cold feet and left. It's as simple as that. Are you sure? Well, Matt didn't come out and tell me he was leaving. But hey, I am his best friend. I know him better than anybody. I mean, he loves Kyler, but she can be a handful. And he's no pushover either. Their relationship is so tempestuous, it scares me. She thinks once he makes a real commitment, everything will be fine. But he's not so sure. So he bailed. I don't love this trope. No. Without I feel like Kit, you got punched for being a dick. Contact her in another day yeah. In the meantime, she's in a raging state of denial, and I, for one, don't see any harm in allowing her to stay that way. I seriously doubt he walked out on her for good. It's just that for Matt, marriage is way too much, way too soon. Hmm. Don't like this. Uh, how can you sound so American? When or how did you? I want to ask that, that but yeah. Kyler and I went for a walk. Came back, and the next thing I knew, Kyler was saying Matt was nowhere to be found. Do you think this dude is in love with Kyler? Yeah, I think he has contributed to Matt's disappearance. Which of these? Mm. Where, where? Where did you last see him? In the nursery. He always seemed to be in the nursery fiddling with things. Whenever I'd tease him about it, he'd always give me this impish little grin like he was up to something. <laughs> when I checked the nursery and saw that Matt's suitcase and backpack were gone, it finally dawned on me that he had left and he wasn't coming back. Of course, by that time, Kyler had convinced herself that he was simply playing one of his practical jokes, and I couldn't bring myself to burst her bubble, so I didn't. Fellas, is it gay so to describe your best friend's impish little grin? <laughs> because I am American. My father's VP of international sales for Krollmeister Incorporated. Krollmeister! Man, we're gonna get bingo the first night, practically. Since, I just can't seem to pick up the accent. like you're drawing something. Are you an artist? Time for me yep. to scoot. Not an artist. <laughs> I'm with a real estate development company. These are just preliminary sketches for a couple of projects we're working on. In other words, I'm doing homework. Hmm. Have you ever developed a project in Ireland? No, but it's just a matter of time. 
Especially if we got our hands on a tract of land like the one this castle sits yeah, on. Yeah, I think he's the oh, villain, and I think it yeah, is absolutely. about a hundred and ten percent about the real estate. Mm -hmm. that bog Huge tracts of land. A little sand, a little gravel, a little landscaping. Voila! A cluster of six, maybe eight luxury homes amid a park-like setting that would sell like lightning. Yikes. Yeah, I do like Nancy backing away from this conversation. Okay? No, thank yeah. you. Hey, there's oh, there's another... another suit of armor. Yeah, Kit, just Kit's 100% a villain. That was Kit right there. Okay, that is literally never stopped um, you before. Oh, no, there's an automaton. Yeah, oh, I, and there's... I've been telling you that... Two more. Well, that's the one we just saw by Kit, and that's an additional one. That's no, Kit is just behind us. Ahead. No, Kit is right there. Oh, I there. see, I see. Okay. That's the one we saw. So it's one additional. Yes. That's, That's the door we came through initially. Mm -hmm. This is the front door, presumably, that we initially knocked on. This is a terrible automaton. This is Let's... the outdoors. <laughs> yep, uh-huh. Uh, we should... But hold on. <gasps> Before we interact... Oh. I feel like we should save the madame for, the madame for next time, uh, because we are at time. Uh huh. Um, Emily, everyone is begging to s <laughs> if we can cross off the terrible man. E Tim says, "Eat shit, landlord." Prince yeah. says, "No, but this guy got a black eye." Um, is this yes. a terrible man? I think so. Oh, Nat said something very funny earlier. Um, oh, Nat said once again we've been carefully investigating a room only to look to the left and discover <laughs> a man. Can I just look at her closer up? Bro, it's gonna start talking to you. Ugh. Just wait. It'll be the first thing we do next time. Look, and it'll he's be so great. tiny over there. <laughs> <laughs> I just, and like this situation, that is just the outdoors over there. Oh, that's another thing. Okay, stop. Stop clicking. You, <laughs> Joey. <laughs> step away from, save the game and step away from the mouse. Second chance with the missing stairs? Really? Were we that close to a fail state? I, I guess. Um. <laughs> Tim says, I like the idea of Caitlin just counting anytime they see a suit of armor, regardless if it's been seen previously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Rose uh, says, we could have died about the stairs. What is, what? Get Kit. Great. Wow, off to a fucking, off to a fucking bang here. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's do the bingo review. Uh, you may cross off on your bingo sheets. Lovingly rendered hand, a ghost or phantom. Teeth, which is replacing the Hardy Boys. A vampire resistant mirror. Krollmeister and a terrible man. It's totally feasible that someone already has bingo. Yeah, I gotta look at my bingo sheet now. Nat says a sinister save file that says you could have died. Um, okay. Mirror. Nat says this time. game is hitting all the Nancy staples up front. Man, teeth, hand, Krollmeister. Man, teeth, hand. <laughs> um, if we had died in this episode, I would have bingo. Oh my god, which um, which card are you using? Uh, the prying eyes one. Great, 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 great. A, a bingo for for everyone this time. Yeah. Wow. wow. Um. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Um. Oh, Francis Thanks. picked the same bingo sheet as me. 
without wow. knowing. Love. Yeah. <laughs> Ruby says man door, okay, and car door. <laughs> <laughs> um, this, I'm fucking thrilled about where this game is going so far, except for Kit. Yeah. Um, I know where, but like, I, in terms I of like, say, the sheer I know where number Kit is going. of puzzles that we have been exposed to already is so exciting. Kit is going at one of the many holes in the wall. Get Kit right Kilt. Out. Kit Kilt. Kilt Kit. This is the game that radicalizes Nancy about landlords. I hope so. At the end, she's going to be like, this property belongs to a banshee and a banshee only. And you can fuck <laughs> off, Kit. Oh, God, I hope that's where we end up. And then Francis Nancy is, is going to marry that banshee and they're going to oh live God. in a haunted castle together a and be in love. and a banshee? Yeah. Beating all the odds. Yeah. Tim says, thanks, five stream. Oh, wow. Um, okay, we will be in the Discord for a call. Yes, and we will see you next week with more Castle Malloy. I oh, am yeah. Caitlin. You can find me on Twitter. Oh, we right. forgot to do it earlier. I you can find me on Twitter. I forgot that I had at... an identity. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. <laughs> um... You can find me on Twitter at Chalo and Behold. Uh, and bodying Nancy this week is uh, Joey. I you can find me on Twitter at Joey the Prince. And you can find us on Twitter at Wait, did you say this already? No. Okay, at Rude Detectives. Um that's that's all. That's stay, oh, what's going to be our sign off? Stay for? haunted. Stay haunted. A quiet mouth is sweet to hear. <laughs> <laughs>